G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel, I'm Josh. Today, we're going to look at how to solve simultaneous equations using the elimination method. I'm trying to do this under five minutes, each example. So let's get moving here. Now this is part three of a whole playlist. So if you're just new to these, maybe you want to check out the description and go to the very beginning. It might help, but you might be able to start uh, midway through. Anyway, we have two equations. Uh, the first one here, we have 3x plus 2y equals 11. And the second equation, we have 5x minus 3y is equal to 12. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and solve for x and for y. So let's do this. The way we're going to do this is we're going to multiply each equation so that we get for the same variable, the same coefficient. I'll show you what I mean by this. If you have a look for the variable x, we have a coefficient of three and five, they do not match. And if we look at y, we have two and negative three, they don't match. So we're gonna look for a number that we can multiply by the coefficient for either one, for either x or y, that will make the coefficients the same. So we're gonna aim with y for six. So what do we multiply by two to get six? We're going to multiply equation 1 by 3. What do we multiply by negative 3 to get 6? We're going to multiply by negative 2. All right, so this is how we're going to go through and solve it now. We're going to get two brand new equations, equation 1 and equation 2. Let's solve them. So let's multiply equation 1 by 3. 3x times 3 is 9x. This is plus 2y times 3, which is plus 6y. And this is equal to... 11 times 3, which is 33. Equation 2, we're multiplying by negative 2. So 5x times negative 2 is negative 10x. Uh, we have negative 3y multiplied by negative 2. Be careful here. This is going to become plus 6y, and negative times a negative is a positive. And this equals 12 multiplied by negative 2. This is negative 24. Cool. So what we're going to do now is we have our matching coefficients in front of the variable y here, we're going to eliminate y away. And we're going to do this by taking one equation off the other. Looking at x here, the biggest value that we have, the biggest coefficient we have is this 9 here. So this is an equation 1. We're going to get equation 1 and we're going to subtract equation 2. Let's do this. So 9x minus minus 10x. Well, a minus a minus becomes a positive. We're going to get 19x. And this is going to equal, well, 6y minus 6y is 0, so let's not worry about that. 33 minus minus 24, this is the same as 33 plus 24, this is 57. So if 19x equals 57, x, we've got our first answer, is equal to 3. Let's put a circle around that. Cool. That's our first part. Now we're going to solve for y by substituting x into our equations up here. So I'm going to rub out up here just to create a bit of space. And not, I'm not going to rewrite the equations out. I'm just going to substitute straight in to these equations right here. So if we have 3x plus 2y equals 11. We're going to put x equals 3 into this. So 3x and x equals 3, this is equal to 9. 9 plus 2y is equal to 11. Okay, so let's take 9 off both sides here. We end up with 2y is equal to 2. Therefore, y equals 1. No problems. Well, let's put a little circle around that. Maybe what I'll, I'll do is I'll just write it down here that y equals 1 and I'll put a circle around it. And you've solved the equations, but let's go through now and check. I've still got about a minute to go, so we can check. Let's do this. Let's substitute x and y into our second equation here. So 5x, x equals 3, so this is 15. Uh, y equals 1, so we're going negative 3y, so negative 3y, y equals 1, this is minus 3, and this equals 12 here, 15 minus 3 is equal to 12, our answer is correct, therefore we're pretty good. And that's how you go through and solve simultaneous equations using the elimination method, well, there you go, we've still got a bit of time left, so I can sit here and say like and subscribe, and if you really want more of these, get down in the description and check out the playlist down there. You could even consider becoming a patron. That would really help us out. Mm, there's still time to go. Maybe I'll sing you a song or something. I don't know. I'm not going to do that. Take care. See you next time. Bye.